right around the corner. <laughs> Dr. Elizabeth Mitchell is now our guest in the Super Talk Studios. She is an ophthalmologist. Right. right? Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, general uh, and surgery professional with the Eye Group, Jackson, Cor- Mississippi. Eye Group of Mississippi. That's correct. Eye Group. Oh. Based in Jackson, yes. The company. Well, our, our, um, we are now clinic. in Madison. Okay, you're in Madison as we well. We are. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, read about this new technology, Doctor Mitchell, and uh, was fascinated, and yes. especially the little video uh, from RX Light, I believe, is Correct. the name of the company, and that uh, did a great job of explaining what this is all about. And I guess I learned a new word there. Uh, <laughs> Macromer, I Good think, for you. Is, the, is the word, and, well I, and I had to look that up, do a little research, and <laughs> not to be confused with, is it macro polymer or something to that effect? Macromers and polymers. That's polymers, what's in okay, the list. my bad. Yeah, I got you. Anyhow, please explain what this is all about and uh, the application of this new technology. Thank you, Jared. I'd love to. Um, so we really are excited at the I Group of Mississippi to bring a new technology to the mid-Mississippi area, and we're talking about a light-adjustable implant lens. Um, For many, many years, when patients develop cataracts and their vision blurs, um, the cataract is the lens in their eye that's gotten cloudy. So cataract surgery means take that cloudy lens out, put a nice clear lens in, and we calculate the strength of that implant lens to help them to be uh, less dependent on glasses to have their best visual acuity. Okay. There are some limitations to that. We've got amazing calculations. We've got great lenses, but the lenses come in preset sizes. Okay. So um, even with a fantastic calculation and a lovely surgery, the implant may settle in a different position in that person's eye, and they may be left with a little residual prescription. Okay. In the past, that was just the way it was, and we could correct for that with glasses. Mm-hmm. Now, the light adjustable implant lens can let us change the shape of the implant lens while it's in the eye. Yeah, so, post-surgery. Post-surgery. So you put the implant in, patients pretty much see great because it's still a fantastic lens even in its preset powers. Yeah. Um, but then after they've healed about three weeks, we check to see if there's any residual prescription. And then we seat them in front of a light delivery device, and it actually changes the shape of the implant lens to correct that prescription. And it, yeah, and according to the overview in the video, it's 90 seconds, the treatment. Oh, yes, absolutely. And it's just a bright light shining at the eye. It's, it's not invasive in any manner. They immediately go back to just normal activity. Okay. And, um, and typically one or two treatments adjustments can get the patient to their best optimum acuity. Sometimes patients may want one eye to be seeing up close more than far away so they don't need readers as much. We can give them those options. Okay. So if I, if I understand this correctly, the, the, uh, the major change here that is that in the past you would select a lens and you'd calculate as best as possible Correct. Uh, to implant into the patient uh, to restore their vision as close as possible, I guess, to the best you can get. Mm-hmm. But once you did that, it's pretty much it, and, and you corrected it like you normally do when your vision needs correction with glasses and... Or contacts, or right. Or contacts, right. Mm-hmm. And so what this enables uh, the surgeon to do is post-surgery... You can just apply this light onto this lens, and it, it so it, it has it's it's operative, if you will. It has the ability to respond to the light to change. Yeah, to mm-hmm. change to to improve the vision. As you were mentioning earlier, um, this lens has proprietary molecules in it, um, and they're called macromers, and they're very light sensitive. Yeah. So when the light shines in a certain pattern, it kind of bonds the macromers together to create a different shape, a polymer, and then that changes the shape of the implant. And you can do that more than one time, and then once you find them to be really happy with their acuity and they're spot on, then you do a lock-in treatment where basically all of the polymers become settled in position and they don't shift anymore. This is just fascinating. So again, the the, the major uh, innovation here is that the lens itself has changes. the ability to adjust post-surgery Absolutely. just using light. That's Absolutely. the big thing. Whereas before, it was pretty much fixed, mm-hmm. and you implanted it, 
and then you just had to make adjustments with glasses and contacts. Now it's, okay, that's not perfect. Well, come in, and for 90 seconds we shine this light at this lens, and these, these macromers join together, form a polymer, and, and just basically improve and correct it. And move around. One of my um, partners likes to use the analogy um, of buying a suit off the rack. Yeah. And, you know, if you know your size, then very likely it's going to be a nice fit yeah. versus having a tailored good, suit. Good one. I and, like that. Um, and so this has been really appealing to patients, and we're just thrilled with it. I mean, being of my generation, this is like the Jetsons. So I feel like we are really practicing now futuristic medicine and being able to offer things that we never could before. It's awesome. It mm-hmm. truly is. And, and the video is well done because uh, even a uh, neophyte such as myself could understand <laughs> right. uh, the concept, especially I, I can still see it, um, the part in the video where it shows the macromers joining together to form the polymer and how that's distributed in the eye or the lens in the itself. Lens, yeah. yeah. And that, that makes it all come together and work essentially so um, we, we really like the um, the videos and the advertising that comes with RX site yeah so um, our website igroupofmississippi.com has links to all of those videos um, I think it really talks it through well for patients yeah so it doesn't I come do across too. too confusing it, it really it sets a good tone for when patients come in and they start discussing with us well what are my options a lot of them have had an opportunity to see that and it helps them to understand. All right. So as a physician that um, is involved in implanting these RX light lenses and mm-hmm. then applying the light treatment uh, post-surgery, do you have to get certified, go to some sort of training Absolutely. To do that? Yeah. RX Sight absolutely certifies all of the, um, not only the injectors or the surgeons that are putting the lenses in, but also the operative staff. Okay. Um, and as well as our clinical staff. So everyone's been um, through the training session certified before we start doing any of this. Okay. Cool. So is is this something, Dr. Mitchell, that's uh, taking hold across the country? I mean, this is becoming more common Rapidly. In, the, in this practice? Absolutely. Um, so we have actually watched this technology for almost a decade. And in its infantile stages, it was very appealing because we all knew that we needed to be able to refine the vision after implants go in. Um, once they were able to create a lens that was very successful and upgraded some of their technology, yeah. then we started seeing ophthalmologists around the country embrace it. And so some of our our leading ophthalmologists and surgeons have been using this for a while, and it really works. It's incredible. All right, so i got to ask a a question that once again will reveal uh, just how little I know about (laughs) this. Macromers, are are these... Living molecules? No. That's no. what I wonder. Right, yeah. right. So um, these are created molecules okay. um, in the lab, um, but they're designed to be light sensitive. Okay. So they're photosensitized um, molecules that are responsive to light. Okay. So I've had an interest in uh, the innovation in nanotechnology. Yes. Is, is this related to A that? A form of way? nanotechnology. Yeah. You know what? I'll have to refer back to my RX site. <laughs> Yeah. Specialist to see. Um, I bet it is. I'm not sure that they're on the same size okay. level. Okay, I got you. Yeah, because it's teeny tiny. Teeny tiny, yeah. right. Yeah. But, all right, so I got to believe that this is going to lead to some other forms of treatment, do you think? Well, it's got to be. This is what's exciting. You know, okay. we know that we're sitting on the cusp of something that's already helping us tremendously, but there's so much more to come. Yeah. So right now, when we um, have a patient treated and they're happy and we lock their lens in um, position, the prescription won't change again. But we Amazing. foresee that maybe five years down the road, if the patient develops some astigmatism or something atypical happened, we think they would be able to unlock the lens, change it again, and then lock it back. Unbelievable. So we know that RX site is already looking at future uh, implementations for this lens. Um, I mean, maybe we could have a multifocal implant lens, again, being able to adjust it down the road. Um, wow. It's fun. It's a fun time in ophthalmology. we got just a minute or so left, but oh. this has got to be welcome news because a lot of folks develop cataracts oh, as they sure. age, right? I mean, Absolutely. this is a big thing. You we guys all deal should. with it. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, and so to now be able to offer a lot of different options for patients, particularly patients who might have been problematic choices on what lens yeah. to use, yeah. this opens up a whole new world. That is just awesome. Well, yeah. great, great news. I, I love to see the application of uh, innovative technology technology and 
in medical science, and this is a great example of me that. Me too. Thanks, yeah. Gerard. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. Yeah, thank you for coming on. Dr. Elizabeth Mitchell, ophthalmologist and uh, general surgeon with the eye group. We appreciate her coming in today. Great explanation as well. Thank we'll be you. back with more here on Midday. Stay with